So this is my Sony A7S III. So let's update it to the latest firmware. And if you own a Sony camera, you know how cumbersome it is to update to the latest firmware. And in this video, I'm gonna take you step by step to update your Sony to the latest firmware, up to the latest firmware, especially if you are on Mac. And on Mac, there is some challenges that we need to, or there's some hurdles that we need to overcome. And I'm gonna take you step by step and how to overcome those, or how to go about it to update your Sony camera to the latest firmware. Akuna Matata, my friend. I am Kolbasia and welcome to Cash Comes. Before I start updating the Sony S7S III to the latest firmware, I want to tell you about my giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm giving away this Mavic Air drone. You can enter it if you're not subscribed to my channel yet. Three simple things for you to do. First and foremost step is to go down there and press the subscribe button and also the notification bell next to it. Second step, while you're down there, press like, give me a thumbs up of this, fat thumbs up of this video. And last step, while you're down there, in the comment box below, write your name and say, I enter. That's it, three simple step, I'm reaching Thousand subscribers very, very soon. It's less than 200 now. So when I read that, one of you gonna win this Mavic Air drone. So let's get back to the video. If you really own a Sony right, camera, you know how cumbersome it is to update to the latest firmware. And especially if you are on Mac. And especially, I'm using too much especially today, if you're on the latest Mac. And I'm gonna be using, you know, the method that is advised by Sony to update my Sony S7S3. I think it is, it has been a while that I, it looked like I forget about the Sony S7S3, but I didn't. So I'm still on the oldest firmware. So we're gonna be starting right now. So first and foremost, let's check what is the current firmware in the Sony S7S3 that I have now. So we go to the menu. So in the menu, so we go to that suitcase of the menu and in button number 12 and in the last we see version and we, when we click on the version and then we can see what version that we have in the current Sony A7S III is 2.00. That is the current version that is in this Sony. So we need to update it. All right, guys, so now let's check the latest firmware that is currently on Sony website. So here is the Sony website where you can download firmware for the Sony A7S III. And the latest firmware that we have currently is 2.0. Point or point one for the Mac. So that's the latest firmware. So I'm gonna down, download it. So I download it, press here. So I'm gonna download it, go download. And it's now downloading. Asking you, asking me to register. No, I don't wanna register for now. So I would download the save. So it's safe. So when I say it's cumbersome with the Sony, yeah, is that's what I mean. Is that for example, the Canon, yeah, basically it's not that is no is no Canon versus Sony, absolutely none of that. But with Canon, I have a two way of updating my Canon cameras. One, I can use the utility, but I find it too long. I don't use utility. The second one, I use the um, SD card, and I find it the SD card. I have more control of that because nothing is going to happen with the, the computer and I don't have to change anything or the utility does not work and all those kind of things. I just put it down, bam, bam, bam. Maximum 10 minutes, I updated, you know, the Canon camera. But with the Sony one, you don't have the option by option of using the SD card or CV Express card. You have to use the Sony camera driver. And 
with that Sony kind of cam camera driver, for example, if you are on a silicon, Apple silicon processor, there's a different way of doing. If you're on an Intel processor, there's a different way of doing it. Last time when I updated my Sony s 7 3 I was in the Intel processor, so it was different. And now I'm in a silicon processor and it's different. And there is so much, because sometimes you have to repeat it many times before you get it right, all right? So what are we gonna be doing right now? I'm gonna take you step by step and how to address that if you have a if you have a silicon Apple silicon, yeah, uh, Mac or computer. All right. So I have already downloaded the the firmware. So now the next thing you have to download the Sony camera driver for whatever processor that you have for your Mac. Me. I have the Apple Silicon. So I'm gonna download that. So, download. Press download. Save. Right. So now we have downloaded, you know, the firmware and also the driver. The next thing that we need to touch on, we need to touch on the security of the Apple Silicon that you have. So we need to change the security setting before we are able to update the Sony S7S3. So now I'm gonna take you step by step and how to do that, all right, is, yeah, I don't know why you have to change your security setting on your computer before able to update the firmware on the computer. Sony, please, can you really fix it? Can you make it just so simple, so easy? for people. Whether you use a CF Express card or SD card, that's one option. Or if you wanna use the, um, whatever the, the driver, the Sony driver, so then you can use it without you have to go and change your security setting on your computer. Please, Sony, can you sort it out? All right, so. All right, so here, how we gonna change the security setting of the Apple Silicon? So you go into the Apple menu, you select and select shutdown. So you press shutdown and then you wait for about 10 seconds and you press and hold down the power button of your Mac. Yeah. So you press and hold down the power button on your Mac. And then you will be given this option, all right? And then from there, you click options. And when you click option, you click continue. Again, then you go to the upper right corner of your computer. You can see, you know, the Apple logo recovery and so and so and you see utilities. So click on utility and you will say, you will see startup security utility and you click on it. So after clicking on the startup security, so then you know you were greeted with this window. So here you select security policy and click on the security policy. And then when you click on that, you see this window, startup security utilities. So when it is, so now it is on full security, right? So what we need to do, we need to select reduce security. So you click on the reduce security and you tick allow user management of kernel extension from identified developer. So after that, you press OK, you press, you know, your password, username and password, you press OK, and you start your computer again. All right, so that's done. Remember, you can go back the same process and set it back to a full security, all right? Important, when you finish updating your firmware, 
you go back and doing it. This next step is necessary if you have your Sony S7S free USB connection is now set to mass storage or is set to PC control on. So we need to turn off the PC control before we are able to set the Sony S7S free to mass storage. If it's not in the mass storage, we are not able to update it to the latest firmware. So let's turn the PC control off. So it's really simple. So here you can see the USB connection is grays out. So for us to be able to do that is not possible as long as the PC remote is on. So what do we need to do? We need to go turn it off and it's simple. So to turn it off, you go to the globe and you go to number one. And here we can see PC remote function and we go to PC remote. Now it's on, we need to turn it off. So now it's off, right? Excellent. So now we need to go back and then turn the mass storage on. So to turn the mass storage on, so we go into the suitcase again and we go into number, what is that? Is it number 12? No, 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 number 12, number 10, sorry. And USB connection mass storage. So now we have the Sony S7 is free set to mass storage. Right, so that's the last thing that we need to set up into the Sony S7S free. Great. Okay, my friend. So now the our computer is ready. The Sony S7S free is ready. So now we can launch the Sony software update driver. All right, so here we are in my Mac. So we're gonna be starting the process of updating the Sony S7S free by first, you know, launching the update software, system software update, double click on it. And then now we have that. So you have to again, tap your password to pass the security. It's done. All right, next. So here we have the system software update and that's the software that will take us through step by step to update the Sony S7S III to the latest firmware, right? So what it say to us is that turn on the camera. I mean, you need to connect the camera and the computer. You need to connect them together. All right. So let me connect quickly the thing. So now it's connected. Now we need to go next. It tried to connect to the computer and the camera, so they are connected. So now it's checking the version. So it has checked, so current version 2.00, and the version after the update will be 2.0.1. Right, next. And this one is gonna take a little bit of, little bit of time. Automatically reset the camera. This is going to take a little bit of time and we're going to speed it up. Automatic reset the camera is done. It said do not pull the USB cable out or turn off the camera. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to allow it to continue. And now it's running the update. So it's going to take a little bit of time before the update will be completed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sp speed it up speed it up yes so started updating so let's speed it up so let's speed it up so um i speed it up so we are almost almost done now you just set in a few seconds i need to think that it does not tell you what is the percentage how many minutes left bam yes it's done finish the update so now the sony a7s free hey <laughs> so now the sony a7s free updated to the latest firmware 
2.0.1. My friends, so that's how you update your Sony S7S3 to the latest firmware update. As I said, it's a little bit cumbersome, but what can you do? Sony, can you fix it, make it easy for us, you know, to update it? You know, that's what I, yeah, that's what, you know, Sony, you have to do. You have to make it easy for us. So my friend, Akuna Matata, my friend, I'm pleased to bring you another video and I hope that you find it very useful. And if so, give me a thumbs up, right? And if you know another Sony owner, send them another Sony camera owner, please share with them this video. Okay, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe now. Right, so my Sony S7 S3 has the latest firmware update, and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Stay tuned, stay safe, and stay protected. Love you guys. Ciao, bye now.